Hi, and welcome back. Uh, I'm out here under the shed, out here where I got my forge, and uh, I've set up some lights, so a little bit better, maybe a little bit more light to, to see by. Right there, I got them, so let's see if I can get a picture of them here without blinding everybody. Yeah, there they are. Okay, so now, uh, here's a bit of a little bit of stuff, uh, information here. Yesterday it was in the 70s. Today it's in the 40s. So I've got synthetics on, so no, no fire in the forge, which is right. Uh, where I, what do I do with it? Okay, that's still me. Right there. No fire. Not today. I've got a a video that I'll put out. I may post it before this. But anyway, where I wrapped it, I, I didn't show a whole lot of the steps just before, after, and in the middle there, a time or two there. And so, anyway, so, so the other day, uh, the big brown truck pulled up and kicked out a present. A present from myself to me. So, anyway, I have been doing other things around and about. Uh, you hear a noise in the background. It is a battery charger charging my wife's uh, second car, her battery. She said yesterday, charge it. And I said, why? And she said, that wasn't a question. So, it's being charged. So, anyway, now I have moved some of this junk around out of, out of the way. Some of it I've not. Well, a lot of it I've not. But anyway, in that, I got off the big brown truck, I got a brand new, brand new spanking, nope, nobody's ever touched, well, they've, been, they've touched it, but anyway, it's mine. I, I'm the first with it. So, yes, uh, I got an anvil. Yes, I did. I got it from... Uh, Centaur Forge, and they've got all kinds of different anv anvils on there, but a lot of them was way more than my price range would allow. Now, I got this one for about the same price as the last boat anchor I looked at uh, of an anvil. You know, I, and frankly, I got tired of, you know, of walking up and shaking somebody's hand and say, hi, hello, how you doing? Do you have an anvil for sale? Do you know anybody that's got an anvil for sale? That's every conversation. So, and I got pointed to some, yes, and, and you know, a lot of them was small, real small, and or huge that they wouldn't sell. And, you know, then a lot of them was doorstops and boat anchors, stuff like that. I mean, stuff that, you know, even if they'd been fifty dollars a piece, I wouldn't have paid for them. You know, I mean, that it had to pay me to get to load them on a truck. But any on some of them. But anyway, I went ahead and bought me a brand new cast steel anvil. It's from North Carolina Tool. I got it through Centaur Forge, and I got it from like fourteen dollars shipping, thirteen ninety nine or so, right around in there. Total price of it was uh, total price, tax, title, well, no tax, but everything shipped to my door in like four days. I had it for $324 or 323 and some change. Always round up. So anyway, this, and I did not see this ahead of time because I use Google for a search engine and they took me straight to the anvils. They didn't take me to the place's home page like most of them do. So anyway, but anyway, regardless of that, I didn't see the code. If I'd have seen the code, I'd have saved 10% off that. I didn't see it till after I went back to their, their page the next day or so, so to see if it was shipped to check on it, my order. Now, I'm gonna ease down and turn and I'm going to zoom in some 
Uh, yeah. Right there. Now, if you can't if you can't see it, I'll uh, I'll get it a little closer next time and bring it. But anyway, it says Centaur Forge. What I've got right here, Centaur Forge. Let me just back it back out. So you, so this will come into focus here. You don't need to see my ugly mug in there anyway. The Centaur Forge. It's a North Carolina tool. It's it only weighs 70 pounds. That's plenty. It's got a three and a quarter inch face on it. But it's a knife maker's anvil. It says knife maker's right on it. And if you use code newbie at checkout, you get 10% off. And the UPS shipping's only like $13.95 or $13.99. Okay. Now, and they ship it by UPS. Okay, now that's for the anvil. Now, I got another thing there I wanted. And that was my my hammer. This was dressing, this and I posted a picture, you know, on the, about dressing the Picard hammers. This one is called a Dutch pattern. That's what I wanted for my smaller one, but I didn't write Dutch pattern down. So anyway, I filed on this one and ground it down, and then I etched a bulldog in it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I didn't go real deep, but and then I painted it black, but Anyway, it's a bulldog with crossbones in its mouth with a DBK, and and I've done that on both sides. Now, this right here, uh, you know, these is not called blacksmith hammers. If you're if you're thinking about buying one of them, these are they're not blacksmith hammers. These are mining hammers. That this one and the other one, but this is Dutch pattern. Now I ground the ball in on this end to make it rounded. And I just kind of cleaned it up. I hadn't buffed it yet. It's just to a 320 hand sanded and everything. So, and then I wrapped a piece of leather. This is equine uh, leather. A uh, two inch piece there, and I sewed it on there. I wet it real good and cut it and sewed it on there. And I used Dacker on the fishing line. I was going to use regular sinew, but. Uh, I couldn't get it to stay in the needle. Uh, I mean, actually, I couldn't get it laced into the into the needle. So anyway, I used the Dacron. This is a 30-pound Dacron fishing line, which is braided line. It's probably rated probably toward 100 pounds. You can't break it. Cut your fingers out before you pull it in two. But anyway, this is this. I got this one down here from. Uh, Tiger Supply. I, I had a contact in with them and I emailed them and asked if they would uh, would issue me a code that I could offer to everybody for you know a few percent off of it. Didn't ask for it my, for myself. I asked for my members here that were thinking about getting a hammer. Okay, but they never got back to me. So well, it's, it's hung in committee, I guess. But anyway. That is that. This is the two, 2,000 grain, gram, which is 4.4 pounds. I didn't take that much off of it. Just shoveling around there. But anyway, it was only 40, it was $42 and change, shipping and handling and everything. Always round up. It's $43. So, and that's about what I give for the other hammer. This one right here that I got off of uh, Amazon. This is the, the three point, this is a 3.3 pound. And uh, so it's three pound four ounces, so it's probably down to three pound two and a half, something like that. I didn't take this much off of it, you'd think I would, but I didn't. And so, anyway, same way with this one, I didn't take that much off of it. I just kind of pushed them back, done a little filing here and there, everything. So, on that, but anyway, without further ado or whatever, I will unhook this camera and I will take you over. And show you what I've been doing for the last couple of days since I've got this ham uh, anvil. All right, now with this right here, I built this block right here. This block is uh, made out of four by twelves. It's 24 long, 24 deep, and it was supposed to be 20 inches high, but they're 
they're kind of over that. Each one of them's over four inches. You know, four and an eight, four and three eighths. They're just rough, and, and they're uh, these are poplar. And I got them in a local sawmill, pallet mill. They had them there, and uh, he'd had them for a while, and I. He wanted one price, I offered him another, and I got it. So, I got three of them. So, anyway, now they are this, and here's the anvil. It's looking straight down. It's got this little protrusion right there. I'm not sure what that is, really. The, the anvil is kind of, the horn is wider than the face, and it's curved up here. That's because it's, it's somewhere or another, the company that makes it is a farrier company so so uh so i reckon they all got a little farrier anvil in them now this this right here from my other two other three hammers are there's my little cross pain my two and a half pounder and then uh, here's my one pound sheet metal hammer tenon hammer and this is my one pound ball pain hammer now it says right on it, right there, it says knife makers. And on the other side it says North Carolina tool. And it's got the horseshoe in it. So, now I wish they hadn't have done this. I wish they'd have just left this out right here, solid across there, and just set the, the letters in. It would have made it weigh a few more ounces, a few, a few more pounds. I don't know why they didn't do it. It'd probably be just as cheap to do it as it is to make everything with all them, them balls or somewhere. Now, I've got inch and a quarter by one inch angle right here, holding it down on both sides. There's nothing under it. Now, don't get me wrong. This handle, when I got it, it it's got a mighty fine ring to it. But now, since I've got it anchored down on both sides here, there's my water bucket. There is my my forged spoon that I made here a while back, and borax that's in the coffee can. And now the reason I made this thing was big, it's 24 by 24. It's that high, and I raised it up right there with a block. See, so screwed down. Every block on it's is glued except for this one in case I need to remove it and I mounted my uh, vise out here on it don't have a pole vise so I figured this one was that and I hung the, the horn off to my left because I'm right handed so I'll be holding stuff with the left hand and all I gotta do is take one step back and turn and stick it in the forge right there and then come back around here with my and start hammering again now the secret to quieting an anvil down is to fasten it down tightly. I've got three six inch, uh, these are landscape timber bolts, timber lock screws. There's six of them in it, and two one piece on each side. And I thought about putting some more on there, but with, the, with these right here on the ends here, they're not going to, uh, it's not going to slide back and forth. Now, listen to it. No ring. No ring. No ring. No ring. There is, I don't know how much this is. I built this thing right here a piece at a time. I put two of them together, rolled it in here, leveled that up. And built the other three lifts on it right there. Uh, there ain't no way I can move it. Hopefully my tractor can pick it up if I ever, when I need to move it, move into the other side there. But anyway, here it on with the hammer. I mean with the anvil here. Like I said, this horn is kind of raised up for some reason. I don't know why, but it is. This is all cast steel. And then it's hard face welded, uh, the top plate on there. And it's like I said, it's three and a quarter inches wide. Well, let's just let's just see. Carry a tape measure on my side. Done this for carried one for many a year, so it's about three and a quarter, uh, three and three sixteenths. And then the face 
is uh, 11 and uh, 5 sixteenths. Uh, so no, 5 sixteenths. It's 7 sixteenths. Excuse me, 7 sixteenths. And it's got a 7 8 inch hardy hole and a half inch Pritchard hole right there. So now all I gotta do is make me some. Oops, my, my, I'm sorry about that. I uh, hit the wrong button here on top of the thing. There we go. So there. That's what I've been up to. And you know I need to sell a few knives. You know, pay for it. I, everything that I do, I put right back into the. I sell them. I, I put all the money right back into the the company here, so I can make more knives. That's what I use it for. This or something that's going to make. I've been looking for one for like two years or more, but pretty actively for two years. And you know, after a while, you get tired of your hands get raw from shaking. <laughs> so, anyway. With that, that's what I done. I just decided that I had peddled enough and looked enough, and the little monkey anvil just wasn't getting it done. So, like I said I've not beat on anything yet. Well, I did, but it was cold, and uh, so that's the reason the top's still painted there. It's still they put that paint on there. Like I said, I just put it finished putting it on there today. And uh, I decided I'd just go ahead and share it with everybody and let them know that one like this is available for less than $350. Granted, you know, if you can't find one, a used one somewhere or to beg, borrow, or steal, well, not steal it, but anyway, they're kind of hard to put in your pocket and walk off with them anyway. But I went to junkyards, I went to salvage yards to see if somebody actually had one there that somebody had just brought in, you know, for, you know, just for the, to sell it. You know, steel only brings about, you know, four, maybe five cents a pound now. And this right here, it's 70 pounds, and it was $323. That's a little over $7 a, a pound. That's new, you know. If you can get one for three to four dollars a pound, you know, if it's in any kind of shape at all, buy it. I mean, it's, they just ain't out there. And when they, they always, I mean, there's ambles out there. Don't get me wrong on that. There's ambles out there. People want three, four, five thousand dollars for them. Uh uh, they're not worth that. You could buy a big one for, I mean, a brand new great big one for twenty five hundred dollars. You know. Or three thousand, twenty five hundred, three thousand dollars. If you've got the budget for that, I'd rather take that kind of budget and put it in a belt grinder and everything. Now, if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna buy a baiter or something like that, you know, good name brand, top of the line with attachments that you can pick up the phone and, and call and talk to somebody, not some Japanese or Chinese company over there that don't that don't care about you, just they want the you know, the five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars that you pay out for a kit or, you know, first one thing and another like that, you can get, you know, you can get them, uh, like five, I seen one uh, the other day, maybe it was last night, like five hundred and eighty-five dollars, uh, but it didn't have a platen, and it looked kind of flimsy to me, but it did have a two horsepower motor and a, and a, a VFD with the variable, uh, frequency drive and I did have that and that's where the money really goes in uh, but the thing about it is they don't ship instructions with it mm -mm, no the instructions is on their website you have to go to their website and uh, download the, the instructions from the website or read them off the website have way they do it but anyway I'd rather pick up the phone and talk to somebody if I can and get it now this right here for you know for the $323 and odd change 
it was worth it to me. I had the money, and so I figured might as well go ahead and get it. I've been looking till I'm about blue in the face about looking for animals. And I had a fella tell me the other day that, yeah, he had one, but, you know, he he wanted like $800 for it. And I told him, and, and it was about the same. It's only like 55, maybe 55 to 70 pounds or 75 pounds, somewhere in that range. It's a little smaller than this one, but it wasn't, I mean, it was just, it was taller and narrower. And it's just a regular anvil, not to, didn't have that, just had regular shaped horn, everything on it. You know, he wanted like 800 bucks for it. And I said, my God, son, I can, I can buy a new cheaper than that. And he said, don't believe you can. He said, I've had people trying to buy this one for years, and they just don't want to pay for it. I said, well, my God, you know, you don't, you're not going to pay $15 a pound for one. I said, I can buy a brand new one for less, you know, less than $350. He just laughed at me. I said, okay, just laugh all you want to. So I come home and done it. I said, I'm tired of looking. You know, I'm just so there it is. Anyway, I'll have to heat and beat a few knives to pay for it, but that's okay. You know, that's what I wanted it for is to see what I can do and see if I can't make some Damascus. Uh, you know, the stock removal knives, doing them and doing the hormones and doing the hidden tangs and you know, and the, the fancy wood handles and stuff like that. Now, granted. I'm not making two hundred thousand dollar knives now. Don't get me wrong on that. But for what I charge, you know, depending on what you want, anywhere from you know from two hundred all the way on up, you know. And I have to buy the the sheaths because I don't I don't make sheaths. I'm not a leather crafter, but I do make the uh, uh, the the Kydex ones for it, you know. If somebody wants a Kydex sheath, I do make those, and I can get about any color a Kydex that you want. It just take a little bit. I just I don't keep a whole lot of it on stock right now. All I got is green. But I have uh, while I was at the junkyard the other day looking around for an anvil or something I could use for it. I said the other day, it's probably a couple of weeks ago back. I did pick up a saw blade off of uh, a bandsaw. Uh, yeah, there it is. And now this place is everything. This right here, according to that, is a high nickel content saw. I'll have to cut the teeth off of it. And no, I do not want to turn it loose. It's got a zip tie on this end and I put this on there to tote it with. That, uh, that this is high in nickel content. So it makes a contrast on your Damascus. I've got some 1084 or some 1080 rather that uh, I think I will try to make some Damascus with. I mean uh, I'm not going to be able to all I'm going to do is heat and beat. I mean if I make it I make it. If I don't I don't. I mean it's just you know everything I do is a learning experience. If I can learn how to do it then that would be good. You know if I can't I'll just go try more. You know Steel's cheap. Well, then that was five, five bucks. That's probably, I don't know. That's probably thirty feet long if you cut it. Maybe. Well, it's at least twenty feet. I know that. It'd be at least twenty feet because it's a pretty good size unfurled. Because I've seen others there, and I didn't want to get them because I didn't know how to fold them up. Not good. And so, but anyway, there's where I'm at, and I. Like always, I appreciate you watching this. If you don't care, like. If you're not a subscriber, hey, think about subscribing here. We learn together. Uh, if I can teach something to somebody, it makes me feel good. You know, I may not be, I may not jump around here and holler like some some kid, you know, that's 20 years old or whatever like that. But hey, it, this is me. I'm kind of dry, matter of fact, and to the point ramble on a little bit but everything I do is to try to learn or teach or both and that's all I can do I mean you know if I can teach you how to make knives better than, and you take it from there and your skill goes on better than me hey that's fantastic 
hey, if you just want to make one knife and want to know how, I'm going to start and I'm probably going to take some my uh, my 5160 and put it in the forge, not today, I mean, it's, it's cool and I got on synthetic, so no forge, no heat treat, no nothing with the synthetics on, because uh, if it gets close to it, woof, and there you are, you're a plastic candle, so, and pl melted plastic does not feel good on your skin, but I do have cotton on under it, that helps turn some of it, yeah, so it ought to be warm enough here in the next few days, all the peach trees have bloomed out around here, but we've got tons and tons and tons of, mu of mud, I mean, you could dig a hole three feet deep in the ground to be wet all the way, th all the way down. And my brother just done that. Uh, he put in water line. He's cutting a trough three foot deep and off of the other water line there. And it's just, it's wet all the way down. But anyway, there we go. I, I thought I'd show you this and everything. And uh, maybe I'll learn how to make a set of tongs. I've tried on the monkey anvil, I tried these. Uh, they might work. I don't know. I'm going to see what I can do with them. Uh, I know I don't have them. They're identical yet, but I uh, don't have them straightened out where they'll go. don't have the, the range thinned out or anything, so... But it'd be a good project for the anvil to start with. But I'm not going to do it today. I mean, I'm, I'm just... I've done too much. And I think I've done all this yesterday built this yesterday I went and got them and, and built it yesterday and, and come out here today and and bolted the anvil down so but anyway that, that's it and like I said I apologize for rambling on and uh, till next time God bless <laughs>